Hey all, today we are going to deal with hybridization. Hybridization is the backbone of chemical bonding. So let's start. Hybridization requires steric number and steric number is equal to number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs. Now lone pairs, this is the very very important thing. We can count only those lone pairs which are localized. Oh, what is this localized? Localized means which are not taking part in resonance. Now kids, back bonding is also a type of resonance. So the lone pair should not take part in resonance or back bonding. Then only we can count the lone pairs. So straight number is equal to number of sigma bond plus lone pair. But do remember this lone pair is localized one only. Now if steric number is coming out to sp now sp means s can only be one more vital p can be maximum of three and t can be maximum of five so we will start from s two means one s one p sp three so s will be one p two two plus one three now four sp three three plus one four five sp 3, 3 plus 1, 4 and 1 D, then like so on. Now kids, how to find out this steric number and all things? Kids, this is the major or you can say most difficult thing. Just to understand how we are getting these steric numbers to get command over here, we should know kids, the most important thing, this periodic table. I am not going to deal with the whole periodic table. But at least we should have very, very good command on P block. Now see, boron, aluminum, gallium, indium, thallium. If you can learn it like this, it's very important to learn it like this only. But if you can't, then you can do one thing I am going to give you. Mnemonic for this. What's that? Bal Gangadhar in Thailand. So, do remember all these elements will have three electrons in the outermost orbit. Carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead. So, all they will have four electrons in the outermost orbit. It's no need of atomic number. No need to write down the electronic configuration. Just if you remember group, that fourth group element, carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead, they all will be having four electrons in the outermost orbit. Now, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, they all will have five electrons in the outermost orbit. If you can't learn it, now you can learn it like newspaper is awesome. What I said? Newspaper is awesome. And now where you are reading this newspaper, once you go to the bank, you know, so lengthy line is here. So what you are required to do just to Pass the time or just to get information. So SBI, you know what nowadays SBI bank, <laughs> they are not going to do your work so easily. So newspaper is awesome in SBI. Newspaper is awesome in SBI. Now oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. Polonium is the radioactive element. Now you can learn it. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium. Now fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetatine, this two you know very well. Everyone is having knowledge of that halogens, they all have seven electrons in the outermost orbit. If you don't know this, then you can learn it. First class, bro and I. First class, bro and I, they all will be having seven electrons in the outermost orbit. And this is a zero group, helium, neon, iron, krypton, xenon radon they are not going to react generally right now kids if you have this thing each and everything of this once in your brain do you remember what i'm saying newspaper is awesome so how many electrons in the outermost orbit kids do let me know newspaper is awesome five electrons five electrons in the outermost orbit if i say first class bro and i seven electrons seven electrons Carbon, silicon, germanium, till lead. Oh, you will say, sir, you missed it. We want mnemonic for this also. Now, car of silicon. 
कार ऑफ सिलिकॉन इन जर्मनी कार कार्बन सिलिकॉन सिलिकॉन कार ऑफ सिलिकॉन इन जर्मनी इज ड्रोबन बाय सन यू नो सनलाइट नाउ इट इज यस सन एंड लेड बैटरीज आइदर तो लेड बैटरीज और यू कैन से सन नाउ किड्स लेट्स मूव टुवर्ड्स द एग्जांपल्स सी एग्जांपल नंबर 1 कार्बन carbon silicon germanium tin lead how many electrons in the outermost orbit four and all these four are forming four sigma bonds so sigma bond four nothing is left so no lone pair zero lone pair four means four sp3 hybridization was the hybridization is sp3 tetrahedral geometry right now i'm not focusing on the geometry and the shape because if i am going to deal with that this video will become so lengthy for that i will make another video right now nitrogen oh just imagine nitrogen newspaper is awesome so nitrogen is having five electrons out of those five electrons out of those five electrons it has formed three bonds so five five minus three is two so two electrons has been left that means one lone pair two electron means one lone pair and three sigma bond 3 plus 1 four sp3 now oxygen oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium oxygen was in sixth group six electrons but two hydrogens out of six two sigma bonds and four electrons has been left that means two lone pairs two lone pair two sigma bond 2 plus 2 four once again sp3 are you getting it it's just imagine if you don't know the p block elements you won't be able to understand what i am telling you now hf chlorine chlorine bromine iodine acetate first class bro and i chlorine is having seven electrons in the outermost orbit and it has formed only one sigma bond now how many electrons have been left 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 means how many lone pairs three lone pairs see three lone pairs three lone pairs and one sigma bond sp3 are you able to understand once if you know this then i am going to give you yes special example now see let's deal with special example oh what is this so see nh3 this to we have done and ch3 whole thrice this also is very simple three sigma bond one lone pair but this example is really the most dangerous example see nitrogen is having one lone pair and three sigma bond sigma bonds see this is sigma bond one sigma bond two sigma bond three sigma bond so you must be thinking about steric number should come out four Definitely, ninety-nine percent students they do this mistake. Often, this mistake have been done by most of the students. Three plus one, they used to write sp three. No kids, this lone pair is doing back bonding. This nitrogen is two uh, p. This lone pair is in two p, and it is moving to three d. Two p pi, three d pi, back bonding. Two p pi, three d pi. Back bonding. So this lone pair is not only residing on nitrogen. This is moving on silicon, moving on silicon, moving in silicon, and present our nitrogen. So this lone pair is moving everywhere. Everywhere means not. It is coming to my home. It is going to silicon, one silicon, second silicon, third silicon, and nitrogen. So it is a property of four atoms. So no single atom can say. This is my property. This lone pair is belonging to me. No, so you cannot count this lone pair. So see, three plus zero, sp two, trigonal planar. So this lone pair is moving. These things are going to give you number of answers once if you have good command on hybridization. Now see, kids, one more awesome example. See, this is nitrogen. That is also nitrogen. But there is lot of difference in these two nitrogens. 
this nitrogen slow pair is localized but that nitrogen slow pair is delocalized now kids you must be thinking that how should we know see adjacent to this nitrogen this carbon is being sp3 hybridized adjacent to this nitrogen carbon is being sp2 hybridized this is the really awesome trick if adjacent atom is being sp3 hybridized nitrogen will be sp3 hybridized if adjacent atom is being sp2 hybridized nitrogen is going to be sp2 hybridized but kids you must be thinking so what's the logic behind it now kids let me tell you the logic is really very simple this lone pair cannot move to this adjacent atom because this carbon is not having any low energy vacant orbital that means adjacent carbon is not having any vacant orbital of low energy but this is having one p see its hybridization is just sp2 so this carbon is having this pi bond that is pure p orbital once pure p orbital pure p orbital means the orbital which is not hybridized so this lone pair definitely will come to this carbon that means it is delocalized so it is sp2 and this is sp3 it's i think this is very much clear to all of you once if you are having good command on steric number you can get the hybridization you can get the electronic geometry you can get the shape and once the shape is clear to all of you you can very easily understand inorganic organic and physical chemistry so myself hsp baba you know very well definitely one and only one that's your unacademy neat english channel kids if you are in avengers batch if you are in conquer batch to comment definitely how much you like this video okay i'll be waiting for your comments right bye to all of you we'll meet you in another session